Hello everyone. Welcome to the third session in this lecture series on genetics and molecular biology. I am Dr. Yogesh Powde. In previous two sessions, we discussed about structure of nucleotides and we discussed also biologically important nucleotides. And this session is going to be under BI 7.1, which deals with structure and functions of DNA and RNA and the cell cycle. In this third session, we are going to discuss major synthetic analogs of nucleotides. Synthetic analogs means the analogs which are not present biologically, but they are synthetically prepared and used for various therapeutic applications. Coming to the specific learning objectives, we have kept the specific learning objectives as at the end of the session, phase 1 MBBA students shall be able to describe major synthetic analogs of nucleotides with their clinical significance. Okay. Then, what are the major synthetic analogs of nucleotides? There are purine antagonists as well as pyrimidine antagonists. So, purine antagonists majorly are 6 mercaptopurine, 6 thioguanine, azathioprine, and fludarabine. Purine antagonists are not limited to this list of uh, antagonists, there are many, but we are going to discuss these four only. Coming to pyrimidine antagonist, there is 5-fluorouracil, capsitabine and cytarabine that is also called as cytosine arabinoside. Let us discuss one by one. Coming to the purine antagonist which is 6 mercaptopurine or 6 thioguanine. It is a naturally occurring purine. This is not actually synthetically prepared but it occurs naturally and the OH group at 6th position of purine is replaced by a thiol group, SH group. So, after conversion to their corresponding monoribonucleotides, they inhibit the conversion of inosine monophosphate to adenosine monophosphate and guanosine monophosphate. So, it needs to get converted into monoribonucleotides first and then the inhibition will occur. There is also a feedback inhibition of de novo purine synthesis. It gets incorporated into RNA and DNA which are dysfunctional. Especially useful in childhood acute leukemia, it also finds application in choriocarcinoma and some solid tumors. So, this is the clinical significance of 6 mercaptopurine and 6 thioguanine. Coming to azathioprine, it is more prominently used as immunosuppressant drug, okay. Rather than uh, anti cancer drug or anti metabolite, it is used as an anti immunosuppressant drug. It gets intracellularly converted into 6 mercaptopurine. It has a selective uptake. It has a selective uptake into immune cells and it suppresses cell mediated immunity. It can also be uh, considered as a prodrug of 6 mercaptopurine because it is intracellularly gets converted into 6 mercaptopurine. It is used mainly in autoimmune diseases and in organ transplantation. So, if there is organ transplantation, there are chances that the graft will be rejected by the host immune system. So, to prevent that, to prevent the graft rejection, we give immunosuppressant drug in case of organ transplantations and that is also used in autoimmune diseases so that the immune response gets reduced and the symptomatology of our autoimmune diseases will be minimized. Coming to third purine antagonist that is fludarabine, it is phosphorylated intracellularly to the active triphosphate form leading to inhibition of DNA polymerase and ribonucleotide reductase. So, if it is inhibiting DNA polymerase, you know, there will not be a DNA replication and it will interfere with DNA repair as well because DNA polymerase has both the functions. It gets incorporated to form dysfunctional DNA. Once the DNA is dysfunctional, there will not be, you know, there will not be a multiplication of the malignant cell. It finds its use in chronic lymphatic leukemia and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, especially in case of recurrence. If it has responded, but it has recurred after the treatment. So, fludarabine finds its indication in re recurrence of chronic lymphatic leukemia and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. 5-fluorouracil. It is a pyrimidine antagonist. Its metabolite 5-fluoro-2-deoxyuridine monophosphate forms a covalent ternary complex with methyl tetrahydrofolate and thymidylate synthase, so TS, resulting in irreversible inhibition of thymidylate synthase. So it inhibits thymidylate synthase. 
it blocks conversion of deoxyuridic acid to deoxythymidylic acid synthesis of deoxythymidylic acid will be blocked and there will be selective failure of dna synthesis because there will not be availability of thymidylate it itself gets incorporated into rna interfering with its synthesis rna synthesis and function okay so both ways failure of dna synthesis as well as interfering with rna synthesis and function of rna so it has a dual mode of action coming to capsidabin it is nothing but it is orally active product of 5 fluorouracil it is the second line treatment of metastatic breast cancer so it has utility in solid tumors like metastatic breast cancer coming to cytarabin and vidarabin cytarabin means cytosine arabinoside it is also called as arac vidarabin is arabinosyl adenine that is ara a it contains sugar arabinose in place of ribose so usually we find ribose but here we find arabinose its triphosphate inhibits dna polymerase blocks production of cytadelic acid and adenylic acid it incorporates into dna and affects dna repair as well because it inhibits dna polymerase it acts primarily during s phase of the cell cycle so stationary phase is the phase where this antimetabolite will act on it is useful in leukemias and lymphomas but not in solid tumors so blood cancers can be treated with cytarabin and vidarabin it is also used for blast crisis in chronic myelogenous leukemia and non hodgkins lymphoma all the leukemias and lymphomas can be treated but not the solid tumors coming to allopurinol we all know this drug yeah this is used for treatment of hyperuricemia and gout it inhibits uh, xanthine oxidase it itself gets converted into alloxanthine which is a more potent inhibitor of xanthine oxidase that, that gives you an example of suicide inhibition right and it inhibits uric acid formation its chemical name is 4 hydroxy pyrazolopyrimidine okay so it is pyrimidine analog which is used in hyperuricemia and gout coming to aminophylline and theophylline you are also aware of these two synthetic analogs okay so aminophylline and theophylline inhibit phosphodiesterase enzyme family and this inhibition results in higher concentrations of intracellular cyclic amp and in some tissues cyclic gmp also and definitely when higher levels of am cyclic amp and cyclic gmp are there so it will lead to stimulation of cardiac function relaxation of smooth muscles and reduction in immune and inflammatory activity of specific cells coming to 5 odo deoxyuridine it is demonstrated to be highly effective in the local treatment of herpetic keratitis it is an infection of cornea by herpex simplex virus so this is the list of references which we have used for this compilation and a complete entire uh, presentation of the lecture series thank you so much if you really like the content and uh, appreciate the efforts taken to prepare this uh, video kindly hit the like button and share the video if you are not yet subscribed to the channel i request you to subscribe to the channel so that you will get a notification in real time about the upcoming videos thank you so much guys please keep motivating us